We're not rebelling against mainstream pop. I was just out of curiosity, what's the, the latest instrument you learned to master? Or the latest? Uh, the theremin? Thermine, you go on, mm -hmm. I guess. The mm -hmm. yeah. We're working on that now. Yeah. And uh, we've we've played so much live that we are sticking to the instruments that we um, that we had along us with us all the time. But uh, we just started arranging new songs, and there's a thermine in there. So that's the latest, I think. Yeah, because is it is it, is it a sort of a gimmick that you try to put as much instruments on it or is it something that you eventually will crystallize itself out a little bit that you stick with what you got or we'll probably just um, uh, as time goes probably some of the old instruments are maybe just like retiring <laughs> and uh, <laughs> other instruments are coming to our group uh, but it's not a conscious choice it's more um, when we arrange a song we can hear oh this needs a tuba or this needs a flute or a violin we really should just learn how to play the violin. So we try to do that. <laughs> the violin doesn't go too well, though. <laughs> it's too hard, but... It's not so it's, uh, No, it's not a conscious <laughs> choice. It's just kind of a, like everything else with us. It just ha kind of happens. But I mean, when you, uh, for example, like uh, you do string, uh, bowed string instruments, then somebody has to learn to play it, or you all put the same amount of effort into it, or how does that work? No, it's more like... I play banjo in one song <laughs> and I really can't play the banjo. You know, sometimes you just learn it because <laughs> it's <only> one song. <laughs> because of you need banjo on that one song and the other ones has uh, the instruments and it works and okay, we need a banjo, so that's left for me and then I have to learn that song on that banjo. Yeah. On and the sometimes banjo. it's like, oh, I want to try that instrument. I haven't played the mandolin or so you yeah. you get like First choice. <laughs> yeah, and some instruments uh, we learn uh, better than others. <laughs> okay. So, but now we, of course, I would love to play more banjo, but I don't have time to practice yeah. right now. <laughs> but <Okay>. maybe later. <laughs> yeah, you said you were working on new uh, songs. We'll talk about that uh, in a moment. But for you now, how do you look back on on, on Le Pop, the the debut album? What what's your thoughts on it now when you listen to it? We've learned so much uh, during that album um, because when we started off, we were even more, um, um, more schizophrenic, I guess, in uh, genres. So our producer helped us kind of collect it a bit, but still keeping the madness and the, the playfulness. And yeah, so it's, it has been a good experience to just start off with. Um, but I think it's important to call this as a debut album. Uh, we're going for the next album with no um, limitations at all. Just uh, keep on having fun and just playing what we want to play and see just how it ends up. 